that was a demonstration of my Boss RC500 MIDI synced to my digital audio workstation. And this is a really cool feature that's available on the Boss RC500 that basically allows you to use your looper pedal in sync with your music production software. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up, but also get the best results with some tips from Boss product specialists themselves. So we're now going to take a look at how we can MIDI sync the Boss RC500 to our digital audio workstation. Now there are actually two different methods that you can use in order to set this up. Now the first method I'm going to show you is actually my preferred way of setting up this MIDI sync feature. And it may actually seem a little bit convoluted because you do need a few additional accessories in order to set this way up. Now the first thing you're going to need is obviously your Boss RC500 looper pedal. But in order to connect the Boss RC500 looper pedal to our computer, you're going to want to pick up an audio interface that has the ability to receive MIDI information and also send MIDI information. So it's got a MIDI in and a MIDI out port. However, in order to connect the Boss RC500 to this audio interface, we cannot use a traditional MIDI cable. And that's because the new Boss RC500 has got these TRS mini MIDI jacks, which are a new addition from Boss. So you'll have to pick up Boss's brand new MIDI cable. And this is basically a traditional five pin connection to a TRS jack. This allows you to connect the RC500 to legacy MIDI devices like my audio interface that I've got over here. Now the second solution for syncing up the Boss RC500 to your computer is actually very, very easy. And it's just simply by using a USB cable. On the back of the Boss RC500, you can see we've got this micro USB type B connection. So you can just grab yourself the correct cable, plug this directly into the RC500 and then into your computer, and you could then transmit MIDI data across this cable. In fact, this is probably one of the easiest methods. But the reason why I opt for this way with the audio interface and the cable is because I prefer having physical cables running between my devices because it gives me much more visual representation of what connections are going to where. So I can clearly tell when I have something plugged into the MIDI in, going into the MIDI out, etc. It just allows me to assess my setup better if things were to go wrong in a live performance situation as opposed to diving into the menus and scrolling through to configure what the USB is actually doing. So the first part of this setup process is to actually connect our audio interface to our digital audio workstation. Now for today's example, I'm actually going to be using Ableton Live because this is my preferred music software for live performance. But you could achieve very similar results with Logic Pro X. And if you are undecided between Ableton Live and Logic Pro X, I actually recently did a video you can check out over here comparing the two digital audio workstations between one another so you can choose which software is actually best for you. So inside of the preferences, we will select my audio interface in Ableton Live. So we'll select the input device, which is the Complete Audio 6, as you can see by the audio interface on the table. And we'll also select the output device. We will then head on over to the link MIDI tab over here and within this menu we will make sure that our MIDI in and MIDI out ports are selected and activated inside of Ableton Live. So you can see inside of this menu both the MIDI in and the MIDI out ports are selected and turned on for both track and sync. So we can actually continue from here and actually set up the Boss RC500. So before we actually plug our Boss RC500 into our audio interface with the brand new Boss MIDI cable, let's actually talk about the settings that we need to adjust first. So first off, let's go into our setup menu and head on over to the MIDI parameters. Now there are lots of different parameters that we can change within this MIDI menu to customize our Boss RC500 further. But to make today's video super simple, I'm actually only going to touch on the settings that we need to tweak in order to set up the DAW MIDI sync on the RC500. So let's scroll on over to our first setting that we need to change, which is called Sync Clock. Now by default, the Sync Clock source will actually be set to Auto. And this just basically means the RC500 is clever enough to work out which source it needs to sync to, whether that be the internal onboard rhythm section tempo, the MIDI connections on the back, or the data being received via USB. So if you just set this to auto, it will determine whether it uses the MIDI connections or the USB connections. But to ensure there's no margin of error and things like that, I like to actually specify the source manually myself. So I'm going to determine the clock source to actually be MIDI. This is going to mean it will receive clock information via the MIDI ports on the back of the looper pedal. 
So now that we have set up the MIDI parameters on our Boss RC500, we can now proceed onto the connection process between our digital audio workstation and the looper pedal itself. And if you remember from the start of this video, I said I was going to use the brand new Boss MIDI cable in order to achieve this. So I'm going to take the traditional five pin connection and I'm going to plug that into the MIDI out port on the back of my audio interface. Once that is connected, we will then take the brand new TRS connection and plug that into the MIDI in of the Boss RC500. Now the next tip that I've actually got for you is from Boss product specialists themselves. Now they were telling me in order to get the best possible results out of this feature on the Boss RC500, you're actually going to want to tweak a setting called Tempo Sync. Now inside of the Boss RC500, we've got a setting called Loop Sync and Tempo Sync. Now with Tempo Sync, what happens is basically this determines whether our loop track that is recorded will respond to the onboard tempo of our looper pedal. So if we slow down the onboard tempo on the Boss RC500, the loop track will slow down with that tempo shift. Or if we speed up the onboard tempo on the Boss RC500, our loop track will speed up to respond to that tempo. Now Boss were telling me, switch Tempo Sync off to ensure you have no artifacts coming across with your loop track playback. And the reason for this is nothing to do with the Boss RC500 itself, it's just MIDI in general. Sometimes when you're transferring MIDI data, there can be slight fluctuations in the tempo being sent across the cable. That may only be by a fraction of a deviation. It may be like by 0 0.1, 0 0.2, whatever it may be. But what this is causing is the Boss RC500's tempo sync is responding to those slight deviations in tempo shift. So whether it's still running at 120 BPM or whether it's running at 120 BPM 0.4, the Boss RC500 is slightly speeding up and slightly slowing down because the tempo sync is that powerful on the looper pedal. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you turn this setting off to ensure you get no artifacts within your playback audio. So let's head on over to the transport controls in Ableton Live and what we're going to do is we are going to trigger playback of our Ableton Live project to establish the sync between our DAW and the RC500. So simply just click playback inside of Ableton Live and this will begin the MIDI flash over here. It will start transmitting tempo information which is signified by the MIDI out light that has just illuminated on our audio interface. If we were to stop playback of our project and see the MIDI out has no longer illuminating to show there's no data being transferred. So we'll begin playback once again. Now, traditionally, if I were to adjust the tempo on my Boss RC500, I would click the tap tempo button over here and I would either tap the tempo in or I would adjust it within this menu. But you can see currently it is saying tempo is set to MIDI, which signifies there is a link now between our digital audio workstation and our Boss RC500. So if I just set off our MIDI track, and then I begin to adjust the tempo inside of Ableton Live, you will notice the tempo light on our looper pedal will respond to the tempo set inside of Ableton Live. It will blink faster as we speed it up, it will blink slower as we slow it down. So I will demonstrate this in action. You can see, as I have increased the tempo in Ableton Live, the tempo on our looper pedal has increased. And then if I were to decrease this, you can see the Boss RC500 is now responding perfectly to Ableton Live. Now, if you want to dive in deeper to some of the settings that we covered inside of today's video, be sure to check out the link in the video description down below for my Boss RC500 Ultimate Guide. I literally take you through every single setting on the Boss RC500 Looper pedal. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. But as always, I've been Ben Rollins. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.